Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasion series of YouTube tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today we're doing image labeler, and image labeler is to set the ground truth uh, for your machine learning. So when you're trying to train a model, you need either create a model or load a pre-existing pre model. And if you want to create a model, you've got to label the objects in an image. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to do ground truth image labeler at a very basic level. I have included this in the bit of code here. They have to create a data store from the folder images and also this time here, just load a folder of images. Now, if I included that, but that's not really necessary for today, call the image labeler. You just do it like that there. And we're going to be concentrating on one particular image, which is this one here. OK. So I'm just going to run this. This will take a second or two. And we're going to have two instances of image labeler. We only need one, so just have to bear with us a second or two. OK, so let's get rid of that one. So we need to load in the image. So it's in MATLAB toolbox. Uh, vision. and vision data. And you can see here they've a load of them done for you already. And we're in that lad. So let So we have three sailboats, a tanker and an aeroplane. Now I'm going to be switching between that here. So we've loaded that boat. And we're now just looking, running through these points here. So we're going to do a label. Uh, the label name is sailboat. I may have the lowercase and the uppercase mixed up. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to have a group here of, and the group name is. Click OK. So there's boats and there's sailboat. So we're going to just draw by I. So there's the boat. So and then we've done that one. And then we're going to do number six here, which is a tanker. The tanker. Yeah, that's about finished. So we now have sailboat tank, boats, sailboat tanker. Now we're going to do a sub label. And so we click on sailboat because we want to create a sub label for the label boats or boat sailboat. So we click sub label. So we have something, we click sub label here. And I forget what we're to call it. Uh, that's sail. And click OK. And you can see here that the 
this is indented more. So that's saying that it's a sublabel is able. These are on the same level, so they're both labels, and this is a sublabel of sail boat. So we've got that there. So we've selected here, and now we're going to draw a sublabel for that. So we've clicked there and then I've clicked on sailboat. So this can cause a bit of hassle area on. I've clicked there and then I've clicked there to make that the active one. And then I can draw a sail there. Might nudge that in a little bit. So I've done that. And you can draw sub labels for each of the six. So I suppose I should draw another one here. Yeah. So I've drawn two sub labels. Okay. Now you can give it some attributes. So we're looking at here. And on that stuff. So we have an example here. So we're on sailboat. On sailboat, the label is in. Click attribute. The attribute name is sailboat type. And there's three of them. There's mono hull, um, catamaran, opus for catamaran, right, and multi hull. Yeah, so that's all them done. So there we are. So multi hull is. Monohull is there, yeah, that's grand. And we can also, down here, an attribute for the boat, the foresail or the mainsail. Um, Now, slightly contradicts itself here. It says here a sub label, whether it's for sale or main sale, but I'm going to leave that alone and I'm just going to do an attribute for the sub label that's there already. And that's um, sale raised. So I'm going to do that. So we're on that attribute sale raised. And that is logical. And I'm going to make it true for that sub label that was there. Click OK. Say erased is true. OK. Now it goes on to do scene labels, but that scene labels is not relevant for the boat. So I can't really do that, but you can read that in your own time. Okay, hope that was of some help and thanks very much for listening.